Welcome to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into yet another offering from Doc Swinson's. We are getting into the Alter Ego Rye Whiskey, Venetian Rump Casks. This bottle we're getting into today is from none other than Doc Swinson's. This is a very interesting one. This is kind of an off profile type rye whiskey, or well, they're doing different things. So this one, not only is it finished in rum casks, which is pretty awesome, they use the Solera method of aging, which is kind of, as my research has shown, it's a weird mix of like blending old whiskey with new whiskey, but kind of blending them in the barrels. And that's kind of like an old style of like, aging whiskey a little faster making it taste aged faster not quite sure but that's what they're putting these barrels through essentially just younger mgp whiskey that's been solera aged and finished in rum whiskey and this is 95 proof and it is 45 dollars if my memory serves correct so not overly expensive or really even that expensive for rye whiskey. Budget rye whiskeys are typically around 35, 30 ish dollars. So this being 45, it's still pretty close to budget, but it also is bringing that rum finishing. So could be pretty interesting. Without further ado, let's just get into a pour of this. On the nose. Hmm, ooh, that's strange. This is very, very sweet, but I also got this weird tobacco note as soon as I smelled it. Okay, there, the rye spice is kind of getting in there a little bit. Very, very like sweet, oddly, even though it's a rye whiskey, so it should be spicy. Honestly, I'm getting more sweetness than spice. There is still like a minty herbaceous note on there, but it's a lot of brown sugars and caramels. A little bit of like a tart green apple, maybe a fig, a hint of coffee there, but overall the most dominant notes are brown sugar, toffee, caramels, and maybe a little bit of like a minty note. Still getting some like of a tart green apple, maybe figs, but overall it's mostly just that brown sugar and caramel. It's very, very sweet with like a background of rye. So let's go ahead and get on the palate. Wow, that is interesting. It is insanely sweet, very sweet, very fruity. Like I'm getting, so obviously the sweetness, it's like brown sugars and caramel, lots of caramel. It's very, very sweet. And then I'm getting a little bit of like a peach, a pear, a little bit of like an apricot in there, very sweet fruity notes. And then there's an underlying kind of like tea licorice herbaceous note that's obviously coming from the rye. But again, like I was getting on the nose, the palate, it's kind of taking like the rye spice is taking a back seat. And what's coming out is a lot of just sweetness from the rum. And then those like super fruity flavors getting a little of like a orange creamsicle. And then it finishes off into kind of like a slightly oaky tobacco note, like a vanilla tobacco flavored cigar, which honestly, I absolutely love that note. It's a lot of fun. In the finish, it is a little bright and thin, uh, not overly viscous or anything like that. So that is a little bit of a lit down, but the flavors that I am getting there are really, really good. Finish a little bit on the shorter side, it's not like non-existent, but I would say it's moderately light. Um, not the longest finish I've had, but obviously not the shortest, saying is how it's moderate still. Overall though, with all those fruity sweet notes and then finishing into a slightly like tobacco-y oaky note, that's fantastic. The underlying flavors of that just tea, black licorice, maybe a little bit of like a mint in there are fantastic. I think this is a really, really good mixture of sweet 
and fruity with spicy and herbaceous. It mixes really, really well. They're complementing each other. It's not fighting each other at all, where it's like being pulled in multiple directions. They're just there complementing each other. It's really good. I didn't really expect to like this due to the whole Solera method. It just kind of sounds gimmicky and like it could be a lot of like, it's a, it's a red flag concept to me just because it kind of seems like you're trying to turn bad whiskey into good whiskey in my opinion, but I'm wrong in this case. With this being $45, I'm going to have to give it a B plus overall. I think it's a really, really good rye whiskey. I didn't expect this to be something I actually enjoyed, but I do think it's a really good bottle. It's priced appropriately, which is fantastic. So it's at about the value I think this bottle is, and that's all subjective. That's just up to me. I think it's a really nice mix of sweetness and fruitiness from that rum finishing, as well as the spicy herbaceousness coming from the rye. I really liked it. The flavors were complementing each other. It just blended well. It mixed together really well. My only downside of it was it is a little on the thinner side. It's a little disappointing in that case, but overall, a really good whiskey, and I can't wait to see more from them. That's going to be a wrap for this video, though. As always, please do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys thought about this bottle. Let us know what you guys thought about my review and my grading of it as well. Also, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. The link for the Patreon is down there below. We appreciate y'all so much for your support. We'll see you later.